Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a lip scrub for winter or fall or the harsh weather that will be very harsh on your lips. And I have this little container that used to have um, makeup in it and I just washed it out. And this is what I'm going to use it for. I'm sorry but my nails are really bad. And then I'm going to mix it in this with this little um, teaspoon. The ingredients that you will need are food coloring, and any kind will do. We'll just need the red. You will need sugar, and any kind of sugar will do. Um, I recommend granulated sugar because the powdered sugar won't uh, really scrub your lips. You'll also need olive oil, and we keep our olive oil in this little container thing and honey. You will also be needing the microwave. So let's get started. We're going to start off by using the sugar. So I have a little helper here and his name is Cody. And if you hear anything that would be Cody. So Cody can you please pass me the sugar? Thank you. Alright so we're going to start out and put in, well it depends on how much you want. But to fill this, I'm going to put in about uh, that much sugar. Make sure there's no um, clumps of it. And next, we're going to use the uh, olive oil. Oh, and I forgot to tell you what they're for. So, um, sugar acts as the abrasive and it dissolves so it won't be all like gritty in your mouth and it does taste good as well. Honey has antibacterial properties and it is used as a non-allergen, as a non-allergenic and it tastes good so it makes it taste better. Uh, olive oil moisturizes, protects, and soothes, and it's tasteless in the scrub, and it's non-toxic and generally non-allergenic. So non-allergenic means that you won't be allergic to it most times, and it won't clog your pores around your mouth. Um, and if you want to use lip balm, you can put that in as well, but I'm not going to be using it. And food coloring is something that I just came up with. If you want to use it, I recommend using red, just like one drop, because um, it will color your lips. So, yeah. Let's get started. So now that we've put in the sugar that I showed you guys earlier, we're going to be using the olive oil. So, Cody, can you please pass me the olive oil? Thank you. And Cody is four, right? Turning five. And he's going to turn three. And he, he's in kindergarten. All right. So we're going to take the olive oil and pour around a spoon and mix. I didn't put exactly a spoon I'll put a little bit less so this is what it looks like so far <laughs> <I'm bloody. laughs> I'm gonna add a little bit more sugar Ooh. thank you Cody I have another spoon just to help me out Just so it's not as liquidy. Mix that in. So it should have a thick consistency, and it's not gonna be like it's not gonna be like water, but it's gonna be way thicker. And while I'm making this, I want to tell you guys that you can eat it. Well, not eat it. Like, if you get some in your mouth, it's fine. 
because we are using all in all the ingredients that you would use to cook or bake so there we go that's what we have so far and now we're going to use a little bit of honey thank you cody and ours is really thick and i know this happens to a lot of people so we're going to put this in the microwave after and i'm going to put about um, I'll be right back. Alright, so we're going to put about a little bit more than this. Maybe a spoonful. Yep, that much is good. And we might have to just add sugar along the way. Just mix it all up. Make sure that it keeps um, getting mixed in. Now we're going to put it in the microwave for about 25 to 30 seconds. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I ended up only putting it in the microwave for about 20 seconds, and it still got a thick consistency, as you can see. And now it's time to add the food coloring, and this is optional. So we're going to add in one drop of red. So, take your food coloring and add one drop. Oh, that looks cool. All right, now mix it all in. Looks super good. There we go, and I'm just going to add a little bit of sugar that hasn't been dissolved in the microwave. dripping here. And then keep mixing. And I'll be back to put it in here. That's my dog in the background. Anyway, it's going to get thicker and thicker as you go. And I'm going to open it up. And... I might have a little bit too much, but and occasionally you may have to stir this while it's in the container because the olive oil may rise on top. And there is your scrub. And I just have this much left over, so maybe I'll use it in another container. But thank you guys for watching this. I'll show you it on the inside. It's just a thick, um, it's just a thick mixture. And... It actually tastes pretty good. <laughs> but if I were to do this again, I would just not put as much olive oil because I'm starting to taste that more. So thank you guys for watching this. I also thank my helper, Cody, here. And say hi, Cody. That's Cody right there. Um, so thank you guys for watching this again. Please subscribe, rate, and comment, and have an awesome day.